Comcast on demand. It should be more like follow the bouncing puck. Hey, Pekka Rene must be like, did anybody get the license plate of the number that of that truck that just hit me, right? What a night. And what a night too earlier. Fox's Pizza, 35.89. The Leones had a great night, and yes, the pizza that folks, penguin fans, love. And here you go. After a hard night at work, ah, nothing like it. And I might even save it for a box lunch tomorrow. Love what they do. But tonight, Jake Ginzel, Scott Wilson, and Evgeny Malcolm, 318 apart. That's all. They scored 4-1 victory. They lead two games to none. It's off to Nashville on Saturday night for game three. Ginzel had two goals, 12 goals, second most of any rookie in the history of the game, 19 points in the postseason, the most ever by an American-born player in the postseason. And Ponis Arbor scored the only goal for Nashville. Ladies and gentlemen, if the Pens can complete this journey and get the Stanley Cup, they will be the first team to do it since the 98 Red Wings under the direction of the great Scotty Bowman. So tomorrow we'll have a whole lot more with Ty Ballou from PLB Sports and Blue Skies Charity who had the boys, Ryan, yeah, at his side tonight, my main man, the recently turned 30-year-old birthday boy and company. They are there, and Ryder, tonight, they watch the whole thing, and we'll get a breakdown of the game tomorrow with Ty Blue. Now, here's what's happening with your Pratt Pack tomorrow night. Going to be a triple header. We are headed to Cassidy Emanuel, Luvalino's establishment in East Liverpool. John Babalik talks Cleveland Cavaliers, Golden State basketball, game one tomorrow night on ESPN, on ABC at 9 o'clock from the Oracle Arena out in Golden State. Rematch. These two teams played last year, and LeBron James has played in seven consecutive NBA Finals. Pretty impressive, right? Also, Bob Ford's going to wrap up round one of the Memorial Tournament. Jack Nicholas is a tournament that is getting underway in his home state of Columbus, beginning early tomorrow morning with a tea time. And then we're going to be talking to John Mowad after we welcome Bob Ford, who's going to get the Bob Jones Award, the first ever club pro director of golf at the Oakmont Country Club to ever get such a tremendous and amazing award. Jack Nicholas won the thing in 75, and he is going into that same category. And if you ask anybody about Bob Ford anywhere coast to coast about him and the game of golf, a true gentleman. Looking forward to that. But right after it's all said and done, I'm going to make you an offer. Make you an offer you can refuse. Why? Marlon Brando, Al Pacino, James Caan, Robert Duvall. They're coming back courtesy of Turner Classic Movies and Phantom Events to a theater near you, in just a couple of days, June 4th and 6th, we are going to look back at that amazing brand over a plate of pasta with John Mowat. Mowat on the movies. He'll be joining me tomorrow night as well. And he will also be with me on the radio for the entire 10 o'clock hour. And I want you to call in Monday night and share your memories of seeing the incredible epic that is The Godfather. Of course, Robert De Niro in Godfather 2 and Francis Ford Coppola, who I absolutely love. And remember, a couple of wines available at your fine wine and spirits. So, a busy night tomorrow. But folks, don't you just like it when things are busy? <laughs> Have a good night. And way to go, Penguins. Tomorrow morning, much more. Join me then. See ya.